Glenn Clark with head coach Kathy Raley. Coach, obviously a tale of two halves tonight. <laughs> um, with a young team, mm-hmm. how much do you take the good of the first half, and then how do you measure it against, obviously, what was not as good after halftime? Well, you you got you got to take the lessons of each part of the game played into the loss today in the second half. Uh, first half, we were winning the draws. First half, we were pretty darn close to 100% in our clears. We executed the game plan very, very well. Offensively, we were taking high percentage shots and they were going in. We knew what we needed to do to win this game. And then uh, we didn't do those things in the second half. So, um, you know, maybe I should have called a timeout a little bit earlier. We made some decisions today that that we weren't controlling the clock. We uh, were not good at the draw at all in the second half. And, you know, we just got to be hungrier. We got to be more physical. We've got to be a little tougher out there. So what we'll take away is we're going to learn. If if we're not tough naturally, we're going to learn to be tough. And that's going to be on me and how we practice and what we do. We're going to have to throw a whole lot more toughness drills in there um, and 50-50 ball stuff in there. You know, it's so funny you bring that up because we were actually, they they came out, you know, St. Lawrence is very physical in the Mm -hmm. first half and you guys handled it really well. Was it just... Yeah, and not try to take a shot. Was it just maturity? Was it just players that hadn't been in that spot before? I I think the pressure of, you know, when you could feel it when that second or third goal went Mm -hmm. in for St. Lawrence, that we started to be scared and we started to force shots. This team doesn't know how to control the clock yet. They're so young. Um, We talked about it and we talked about like, let's, hey, let's wait for the layup and then we'd run down and shoot it or run down and turn it over. And, you know, it's, it's hard as a coach. You want to foster that excitement. You want to foster that creativity in young players. You want them to always believe they can do it. Mm-hmm. So it's so hard to be mad when they go for things at this age because they need to know. Um, but we do talk at, about controlling the Glock. We just didn't really listen to that. And I can't be mad at that. I, I'm, I am upset about the, the, the hustle and the draw. I'm upset yeah. about the letting them push us around first to the ball, boxing us out on the outside of the circle, not boxing out the girl that's taking the draw. Um, those things are toughness things. Those things I'm angry about. But I will never be angry at like, going for creativity and wanting to be the game winner and want, give me the ball, I'll shoot it. Um, those are all things I want to see this team carry on. I want to see a few more people like that. Let's talk about some positives tonight. Yes. Uh, last time you guys played under the lights, it was a tough night for Sophie. She, I thought, was much, much better tonight and made some really big saves for you. She played great tonight. Um, she, the only things that went in were things that we either clipped and the the, the shot took a change of direction or um, one V goalies. And at one V goalie. So, so if we had pressure on and we were forcing out, she was making the save. She made some really great stunning saves. In particular, one at the end uh, that she made a, that, that foot save that was so good. Uh, yeah, she was great tonight. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. And then that's a good team that you played against tonight, right? Another oh, yeah. a, tor- a team that went to the tournament a year ago yes. that has good players back. Yeah. In the end, you, you played against a good team. It yeah. was a one-goal game in overtime mm-hmm. as you are – trying to get to where you want to be can there be a 10,000 foot view that there is a positive there absolutely this is a wonderful group they play hard all the time they practice hard they're good to each other they want to be good um I'm gonna keep pushing them a little bit because I I really think there was more I think we could have gotten more out of the group today this was a um this was truly just a confidence loss. This was not a talent loss. This was not a skill loss. This was not an IQ loss. This was a confidence loss. Mm-hmm. All right, back at it on the road on yeah, Saturday. Absolutely. Coach, always appreciate it. Yeah. We will see you next weekend. And Thank you. Hopefully it won't be another one of the, this is this We got this out of the system. Hey, they get better and better every game. And anybody who's watched us from the start to now can absolutely tell you this team gets better every single game. You want to bring up Isabella Kara first? 
Oh, it, I want to bring up I want to bring up Kara first because right, she's Kara. the season one, and we'll, we'll we'll put the pressure on Isabel. Right. I like it. Okay. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate okay. it. Good to see you. It's Kathy Rayleigh. Let's bring in Carrie Russo, who is with us. Um, Kara, last game I was here, Caitlin Kozlowski was here with me, and I made the comparison. I said, boy, if you can slide in just a little bit closer, yeah. I said, boy, Kara reminds me a lot of someone sitting right next to me in the way that she kind of does everything. Can you tell me about being around Caitlin and watching the way she played and maybe how it impacted you in all of the many things that you do in the game? Yeah, I think, um, like, all together, like, cause – you know, we play every side of the game, so if you make a mistake on the defensive end, you're going to make up for it on the offensive end, and I think the cause has like, taught me don't let those little mistakes get to you because at the end of the game, it's also a mind game. So if you made that mistake, turn it into a positive. I mean, it, it, it certainly paid off. Kara, obviously this was not a, an easy night. It's a tough thing to go through. What is, as, as a leader on this team, what is your message to everybody about how you pick yourself up and move on after a tough loss? Um, I think we talked a lot about it in the locker room, but we played a top 20 team and we stuck with them. We made it to overtime. So it just shows that we are good enough to play with these top teams. And so like people shouldn't be down on themselves. We all made it to as far as we have. So I think just pushing the pedal and um, on to the next game. All right. Uh, the trip to Arizona, what did it do for you guys? Not, not just winning some games on the field, but the opportunity. You've been on a few of these spring break trips now. The, the, the value of bonding, of being around other players and spending time with them, how much did that trip help? Um, I think it helped a lot this year. Um, you know, it's a young team, so getting to know everybody is a little hard. You know, you're not, you're not seeing them all day, every day. So I think that Arizona was really helpful in that aspect. And also winning never hurts. That was no, <laughs> no. definitely a very fun trip. So I think that bringing that back with us, we built some confidence while we were there. All right. Now, we've been trying to get to know everybody a little bit better this season. So I need to know from you, what are three songs that would be on, like, your pump-up playlist to get ready for a game? Um, pop up the jam, shout out Jen. Nice. Um, every time we touch. The Cascada, yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh. That gets you going. I don't know about the third one. I think I might just have to stick with right, two. I can't think two. of it off Those the top of my head. Ones. Those are pretty good ones that definitely get you pumped up. Kara, who can we say hello to? Who do we need to give a shout out to? Uh, my family. All right. Kara, I know it's tough to come up after a tough loss, but appreciate you. Love watching you play. Thanks for taking a couple of minutes. Thank you. It's Kara Yarusa. Now we bring in Isabel Van Emberg to wrap us up tonight. Um, Isabel, again, I, you, somebody who does a lot of things, right? Tell me about where your game came from. Who shaped you? Who molded you? Who got you to this place? Um, I definitely think causing Kara, watching them last year just run the midfield and do so well at it, I think they really helped me improve my game, and I was able to play the way I am now because of Kara and Koss. That's big. That is big to have those players to look to. Um, I, I was asking Kara about the trip to Arizona. Tell me for you, like, what did it do for this team? Again, I know it didn't get the result ultimately tonight, but you played really well against a good team. How much on the field, off the field, how much did it benefit this team as a whole? I think it benefited us so much because just like being in the hotel together and rooming with your teammates, it just really helped us bond on a personal level and not just a lacrosse level. And I really think we've stepped up from that point and just grown as a group. What is the difference right now, right? Like you guys have had really great moments and stretches. Tonight the first half was spectacular, obviously. What's the difference? What still has to change in order for you to get to the place where you want to be and, and win the league this year? I think we have to take it quarter by quarter and really – start over from scratch if a quarter doesn't work our way I think that all of us just need to go out there and just they're going to score on us it's going to happen we just have to take it and just move on from it and keep going that's an important lesson all right uh so I'm going to give you the same question what's on your pump up playlist give me three songs I don't have three but definitely my goal song windows down by big time rush okay. all right. that's that's what old school mm -hmm. uh all the lights Okay. Kanye West. All right. Yeah. That's not a pretty good one. Does this make sense? Yeah, I don't know the third. All right, we'll keep with those two. <laughs> All right, then I'm going to give you, instead, I'm going to give you this one. I need you, because we've been struggling with this this year. We need to know, like, I know that Hannah Ash goes by Hash. Okay. I need to know if there's another nickname. Like, I need to know if there's a nickname that's out there for, like, Kara that we should know about that we can reference or somebody else. On the you got to let us know somebody else's nickname. Um, Kelly Ann Kosha, we call her Ka sometimes. Okay. Just right. K-A, Ka. Just Ka. out a couple letters. Ka. I'm in for it. We'll Ka. roll with that. Isabel, I know it's tough. I know you guys wanted this one really badly, but I appreciate We love watching you play and appreciate you coming up and hanging out with us. Thank you.
All right, that's Isabel Van Emberg. I'm Glenn Clark. This has been GoMustangSports.tv.